So today, we've got loads of bits of wood and we're just gonna build stuff in a non-professional manner. Because we're not professionals, we're just fan builders. That confused you, didn't it? That's the boy, the son. Him. Me? Can't deny he's mine, can I? So, right, we need cupboards. We need cupboards. We do need cupboards. We need cupboards. We need cupboards. We need cupboards for stuff. Because when you make cupboards, you just put stuff in them. Right. This isn't a how-to video because, like I said, we're not professional joiners. We're just having a go and making epic stuff. But it works, you know what I mean? And the windows still haven't leaked. Go figure. Anyway, we've cut loads of bits of wood, as you can see right there. And out of this, we're going to make two cupboards either side. Now, the cupboards that we're having in our van, we're just having two cupboards in the bedroom. We're not, some people have three cupboards, but we think that two cupboards about this long, which is the technical specification for a cupboard, that long, and longer, not a cupboard. Anyway, what are you laughing at? We're using one by two. That's gonna be the middle brace. We're just gonna bish bash bosh, screw it together, get it all done, and I guarantee you, it won't fall down, will it? No. No, not a chance. Not a cat in hell's chance. Right, let's get this together, and I'll show you what we're doing. So first of all, we're gonna be using this. This is, it's a Minecraft hammer. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. It's a Minecraft, it's a, it's we, a stone Minecraft It's a hammer. stone, I mean, you can see, look. Anyway, um, I've seen this on Amazon. It's a, it's a basically a jig for making corners because we're not professionals, but we want it to look good. So, basically what you do is you put your two pieces of wood in, it makes it into a nice corner. I can't even remember what the angle's called. Right angle. Right angle, there you go, well done. 90 degree angle. Boom. He's got the clevers. Um, so we just got to jig it all up in this. Jiggy jiggy. Jiggy jiggy. Jiggy. Jiggy jiggy. Jiggy jiggy. Jiggy jiggy. jiggy. And um, we just got to jig it all up in this and we'll show you what it does. So basically you just set your jig down like that. You put one piece of wood in there. We're going to put in the jig just like that. And then we'll clamp the jig together and then that gives us the perfect angle. So we just need a bit of glue, screw hole, screw screw. Jobs are good. Un. Bish bash bosh, give it a screw. Make sure it's all nice and flush and level. One thing I will say with this is this is great, just don't go mad and over tighten it because things start twisting and bending and you know. It was about six pound on Amazon, so hardly breaking the bank to give you the perfect squidge. So we're just going to drill our two pilot holes through the wood. Then we can get some screws in. Right, so now we've got the screws, we've got the holes, we need to screw the hole. Right, now we'll just do the other side. Dead simple. Do it all the way round. Bit of a time lapse thingy. Pucker. Don't know why I winked. Ooh, fancy. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway. When I'm with you, I have it all. Oh, oh I'll never let you slip away. Oh, 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 and you don't have to be afraid I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time
Right, there was a reason we used them great big screws and that was just so people can comment and tell us how we're doing it wrong. Because there's so many experts out there. That is going nowhere. It's going to get screws to the roof, screws to the back, screws to the beams. It's going to go nowhere. <clears throat> you see up there where the wood doesn't meet the wood. Now, that's purposely done because you need to leave cables exposed just in case you get into them. Uh, no, wrong. Just in case you need to get to them, you leave them exposed. So that's why they're like that. But when you put your cupboards up, they're all there and they're in show and it's just, it doesn't look very nice, does it? So get onto this. See this, this black plastic stuff you put. What are you doing it? Put it on stuff. On stuff to make it black. Right, okay. Well, this black plastic stuff, it's bendy, isn't it? And it shapes to, you know, you can... Build a hat. You can make a hat. You can be like a house. Make a boat. A boat? Yeah, you can make a boat. You can do all sorts with it. But, I think, if we put this up first, bend it round the ceiling, then put the actual frame in, that's going to look pretty good. Now, we've painted the flame. Flame? Nothing. We've do, my mouth's not working today. You carry on. What have we done? Right, so we've painted the frames black so they fit in with the colour white of the van. So they look nicer instead of just the normal colour of wood would be. Yes, they'll look better. So, we're going to get this up there and try and hold it into place and then bring the units up. Bish, bash, bosh. Get them screwed in. Looking fantastic. Then we've got to put an end piece on, an underneath piece. But before we put the underneath piece, we need to rouse it out for two channels for the LEDs, which you go on either side of the bedroom. But first of all, we need to get the frame up, which we will do so momentarily. <laughs> So, two cupboards, all we need to do now is put the bottoms on and we need to rouse it out for the actual light that's going underneath it, but they look great and the actual black plastic that's in the inside really makes a difference as well. It just makes the cupboards a little bit cleaner and looks a little bit aesthetically better than leaving Everton bare and open as well, as does painting all the wood on the inside, just finishes off that little bit more. So as you can see, the plastic inside just really does make it look a little bit better because it goes right up to the ceiling and it just makes the inside of the cupboard just look a little bit neater. Right, so what we need for the bottom shelf is this piece here, but we also need to get these strips in. They're going to be for the LED lights. So they need to be sunk into the actual wood by that much depth. So we're just going to, we've got a straight edge on there we're going to rouse that out so this fits in and it looks all nice and pretty. Right, so we've cut one of the shelves from underneath. What we've also done as well is we routed out this section here so we can get the channel in, just tacked it into place. And then what's gonna happen is the LED lights in the bedroom are gonna sit into this. And then this little diffuser will literally 
sit over the top like that and this will be the LEDs at the back of the bedroom nice and flush sits nice inside the panel just rouse it out enough for it to sit in and screw in so let's get the bottoms up And there we go lights under there just need the cupboard doors on the front now but that is looking good it's got to do the other side you like I like boom <laughs> so there we go don't know when we're making the doors but a little bit of an update for you on what we've been doing today so don't forget give us a thumbs up leave us a like a like, like for thumbs up thumbs up is a like <laughs> doesn't know kids these days likes and thumbs up just getting them mixed up Same thing. leave us a thumbs up and a comment there you go a nice comment not a shitty one a nice one oh windows still not leaking imagine that I Look at that, hey, done by a pair of non-professionals. Non-professionals. Non-professionals, me and him, a lad and dad. Professional idiots, but my God, we do build good vans. Right, whatever you do, do it well. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bit more enthusiastic. Bye. <laughs>